Yes, I am. Um, I've I've been wanting to use a the uh, trial pad in a, a jury trial situation, and so I've been uh, promising plaintiffs' counsel in this particular case that I was going to beat him over the head with a trial pad. And so we get to a mediation, and he says, "Where's the trial pad? Yeah, I haven't seen trial pad." And I and I had not prepared a presentation because we really did not prepare to offer weren't prepared to offer anything, but there were a number of presentations going on. So I said, I'll tell you what, I'll prepare you a trial pad presentation at, while the person in front of me is going ahead. So I lined up four or five documents in chronological order that he would used in his presentation, blew them up, highlighted them, uh, you know, was able to underline on the fly. He was absolutely amazed, and he went out and got trial pad the next day. Well, specifically, when we had our closing arguments after a lunch break, the testimony in the morning changed some of our closing strategy and using trial pad to manipulate the specific exhibits that we called out during the closing argument in connection with some prepared slides. Uh, if you, we had done it all in a computer previously, we, we couldn't have changed it all that quickly, but I was able to also change it as, as sitting second chair as the uh, trial attorney, the first chair, deviated in his presentation uh, based on the uh, on rebuttal, we were able to make changes right on the fly and bring up documents that we weren't prepared otherwise to bring up. You know, um, video depositions for trial are always a, an issue because at trial you have the ability to show the witness uh, a document either on a big screen or on a board and have the jury see all of that going on. And you can't really do that in a video depot for trial. So what I've started doing in, in my video depositions is I will bring my projector, I'll bring my screen, I'll bring my iPad, and when I cross-examine a doctor witness, for example, I'll pop up the medical record on the screen, highlight things, do call-outs, do whatever I need to do, and have the camera person, the, the videographer, uh, prepared to switch over to the screen when the witness is talking about a document. So now the jury on the video sees what they would have seen in the courtroom. You know, a lot of times other attorneys will look over my shoulder and sort of see what I'm doing. And, uh, you know, it's always sort of fun that, you know, when they, they see, it's so easy to understand the idea of highlighting a deposition. Every, every attorney does that. But when people see that you're adding codes and that you can do these reports and everything else, um, you know, they're always very impressed. And, you know, of course, it, it reflects good on me as an attorney because they're like, oh, look how smart he is to use a product like this. And, of course, all I'm doing is using an app, and it's, I didn't create the app. So, uh, so it's, it's nice from that standpoint is that, you know, other people can appreciate the value of the product. Um, I, I certainly love it. I use it almost every single week in my practice. It was an oral argument. Um, and I had the transcript of the, of the trial in, in the uh, in transcript pad, and there was some question from the panel about, you know, did it was this said or was that said? And you know, normally I wouldn't go through this during an argument, but I guess I had a little bit of time because the a couple of judges on the panel were kind of arguing with each other. So I just you know, da -da 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 -da. and um, and I was able to pull it up, and you know, I just said, well, actually, uh, Your Honor, it was you know, they said this, and then this was the response. And I know I could have done that if I had, had on paper too, but there's no way I would have had the time or. Um, you know, and, and also they were impressed. So, uh, and they didn't question what I was saying because, oh, well, it's on his iPad, so it's got to be legit. As a small firm, I do not have 15 other attorneys working on a case with me, even if I do have a big monster litigation case. So as a small firm, it has allowed me to com com compete with a much bigger firm. So in other words, bigger firms may be sitting next to me at uh, defense counsel and they're roaming through depositions. Meanwhile, I have two or three words that I'm clicking in to transcript pad and I'm able to find information that I need at, you know, at a snap versus going through thousands of pages of depositions. So it's truly allowed me to compete on a different level. You know, I, I'll give you a real good example of the strength of, let's just use transcript pad for a moment. We just got a huge case in the office. It's been going on for two years. I've been brought in to pick up part of the defense of that case. There are 9,000 documents. Depots have already been taken. All I had to do was call opposing counsel or co-defense counsel in this case, ask them for a copy of the TXT files. They didn't even know what those were, that they existed. I got them, dropped them in the transcript pad, and I was through these transcripts in no time at all. It's phenomenal.